Hallo, my dear followers. Welcome back on girlsforteaching.com. Willkommen zurück. Wie geht es euch heute? How are you doing today? Our topic today is the school. Die Schule. And university. Die Universität. Moreover, we will have a closer look on the modal verb must. Müssen. Probably the modal verb you connect with school, but hopefully not with the course. In Germany, a normal school day, der Schultag, starts at 8 o'clock in the morning and finishes at about 1 o'clock. For the older students, there are some lessons in the afternoon as well, but we don't have a full-time school. Also, with the recent introduction of the 12 years of school, instead of the former 13 years of school, the afternoon lessons increase. You have to go to school by law until your 18th birthday, but there is still a possibility to quit the normal school after the 9th or 10th grade and to go to a professional school. If you choose this way, you can't go to university afterwards. The German university changed its system like whole Europe to a bachelor and master system. So you study three years plus two years. This course instead is open for everyone. So let's start right now. Okay, here we go. There's a lot of work waiting for us today. We start with the conjugation of the verb müssen, must, which refers as well to the expression to have to do something. Once again, the three singular forms are irregular. The three plural forms instead are regular. Here we go. Ich muss. I must. Du musst. You must. Er, sie, es, muss. He, she, it, must. Wir müssen. We must. Ihr müsst. You must. Sie müssen. They must. I hope you remember how to use a modal verb. Let's repeat it with a little dialogue. Hallo Lena. Hallo Eva. Musst du heute in die Schule gehen? Nein, ich muss nicht in die Schule gehen. Es ist Samstag. As you can see, there is no difference between the usage of the modal verb können and müssen, except the meaning. Let's see some vocabulary on our topic school and university right now. Okay, first of all, in German we differentiate between male and female when talking about jobs. The teacher, therefore in German, means der Lehrer, if he is a man, and die Lehrerin, if she is a woman. The same happens for the professor, der Professor, die Professorin, the pupil, der Schüler, die Schülerin, the student, der Student, die Studentin. There are other words which might be interesting when talking about school. For example, der Bleistift, the pencil, das Lineal, the ruler, der Radiergummi, the rubber, die Schulstunde, the lesson at school, die Vorlesung, the lesson at university. Die Hausaufgabe, the homework. Die Klausur, the class exercise. Don't worry, in this course there are no class exercises and there is no homework neither. The lessons are quite short as well, so you hopefully won't get bored. If there's anything you do not like about these lessons or positive feedback as well, please post it in the forum on our website girlsforteaching.com. Of course, there's also space for your questions. We will see us soon at our next lesson. Can't wait. Kisses. Cheese.